Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting the all-new multi-part Stern Guard. Yes, we've already had Stern Guard on the channel, obviously, in the form of the Leviathan Pushfit versions. And they were, of course, painted in the colours of the Blood Angels. But you will already know by now that these are going to be Salamanders. Yes doing something slightly different these days. So, <laughs> these have been sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you. And that is exactly what we are going to be doing. And well, we are just gonna jump in and we are gonna start doing it. They have been primed in Grace here. And the color we're gonna be using first is some Carandrus Green. Now we're gonna be applying this over the top of all of the green armor. So for Salamanders, this is going to be the most of the power armor, excluding the pauldrons and the backpack. So we're just gonna load up our brush with that Carandra screen, pick a place to start, and I always like to start down here on the foot and work my way up. Now we're looking for a nice smooth coat here of Carandra screen, and it is quite a nice contrast paint, so you don't have to worry too much about it pooling and getting away from you not quite as temperamental as perhaps some of the other greens in the range, but you will want to watch out for any large dark pools, which is what we don't want, um, what, because what we want is a nice smooth coat here. So we're just going to take this a section at a time, going back to our brush, our pot I should say, quite often to just pick up little bits of Carandrus green here and there. And as I say, we just take this a section at a time. Just like this sort of thing. And then once all this is done, across all three of our models, we'll come back. So with that Carandra's green applied to all of the armor and including the main part and body of that banner, what we're going to do now is we're gonna color over it using some warp lightning. And this is exactly the same thing here. We're just gonna take a small amount of this on our brush and start doing this over the top. I'm just gonna start here on this leg here, instead of the other one, just keep you on your toes a little bit. Just like that.
So with that all done, you should have some absolutely gorgeous salamanders armor all the way around on all of your miniatures, including on that green flag, just like this. Looks absolutely fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is move on. And we're gonna move on to all of the black details. Now there are quite a few of these. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take some Black Legion. I'm gonna apply this over, well, lots and lots and lots of different details. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're gonna apply this over the top of the frontward facing part of the tabards. So we can get this in like this, coming in and down and around here. Like this, but we're not going to do the back of them. Just like that sort of thing. We will do the rest of it a bit later, but what we're also going to do with the Black Legion is we're going to use this to paint in any of the soft joints in the armor. We're going to use this to paint in the casings of any weapon, so the chainsword and the rifles, any heavy weapons you might have. We're gonna use the backpacks and the shoulder pads. Now don't worry about other colors on the banner just for now. I'm gonna leave that to a little bit later. So with all of that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take Saigor Brown. And we're going to apply this to all of the remaining leather details. So we're looking at things like belts and pouches. With that Saigor Brown all applied, we're then going to take some Blood Angels Red. And we're going to use this to paint in any of our wax seals on any of the purity seals. So in this gentleman, we've got one right here. Like that. And the reason we've picked out this guy is that we're also going to use the Blood Angels Red to paint in the cable. So with that all done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Rattling Grime and we're gonna apply this over the top of our Salamander's face. And so with that done, we're then gonna take some Skeleton Horde and we're gonna apply this over top of all of our paper details and the back of all of their tabards. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Retributor armor and we're going to use this to paint in quite a lot of little fiddly details here. So we're looking for all the kind of, well, fancy bits. <laughs> so 
We're going to be looking for things like this little device here on the knee, the belt buckle skull just there, like that. I'm going to go for this little reliquary down here. I'm going to paint in the Achilles. Like that sort of thing. I'm going to go for any decoration on the guns. Accidentally put a little bit of retributor armor where it's not supposed to go. Okay, just tidy that up with a bit of Black Legion in a minute. Uh, we're also going to go for things like this on the shoulder, and this one on the other shoulder, and we're going to go for the fancy bit on the banner and the pommel with the chain sword. So with all of that retributor arm replied to all of our fancy details, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some iron warriors and we're going to apply this to the, well, the non-fancy details. So this is going to be for almost all of our remaining pieces. We haven't quite yet done, excluding the heat shield and the magazine on our Bernie Flamer thing. So for our final base coat, or well, I guess it's a generic base coat, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Castellax bronze. I'm going to apply this over the top of the heat shield and the magazine. So with that done, we've got all of our base coats on, except for that banner facing. So what we're going to do is something slightly unconventional here, because we want to add some flames to this. But rather than paint them in and kind of having to kind of do it over the black with some uh, more conventional kind of base and layer paints, what we're going to do is we're actually going to paint the whole of this facing with three colours, Bad Moon Yellow, Griff Hound Orange, and Blood Angels Red. And then afterwards, we're gonna reverse paint the flames in using the Black Legion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking some Bad Moon Yellow, and you don't have to do this over the top of the entirety of the flag, you can just kind of do this over sort of the bottom half. It doesn't have to be perfect here. So we're just gonna get that Bad Moon Yellow all over, like so. We just work that right into the corners. There we go. Then we're going to wash the brush, grab some Griffhound Orange, and then we're just going to get in there and apply this. Kind of like that. Then we're going to wash the brush, grab some Blood Angels Red. We're going to add this around about the middle area just like that. Then we wash the brush once more and grab some Bad Moon Yellow. And then we use this to move that paint around creating a really nice kind of subtle blend. Just like that. Then we're just going to leave that to fully dry for five, ten minutes. So now that that's all on and dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take the Black Legion and we're going to use this to paint the reverse flames, as I mentioned. So we're going to flip this round the other way and 
we are going to start by drawing in however big and however little small you want. We're going to start around about here, I think. I'm going to use the black lesion to draw these little snaky lines. like this sort of thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start kind of connecting them. So over here, this one is we're going to start widening this out a little bit until we're happy with how that one's going to look just here. You see? And then I'm actually going to start widening this out on the other side and connecting the flames Add more lines. And then you just want to block in the top half so that as it comes together, you can see here creates those lovely blended flame-like designs. Like this sort of thing. So with that done, you should have a pretty cool looking flag. Even if I do say so myself, I'm really pleased with it. Don't know if you can tell. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do now is going to move on and we're going to add some shade to take them to that fully war hipster battle ready standard. So the first of these is going to be some null oil. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the black and all of the silver details. I'm just going to start here on the shoulder work my way around. With all that null oil applied to all of those black details, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. We're going to use this to shade all of the gold.
And with all that Reichland flesh shade applied, we're then going to take some Agrax Earth shade. I'm going to use this to shade the Castellax bronze. So with that done, we've just got one last thing to do, and that is to take a tiny little bit of Corax White. I'm gonna apply this, there's a little line going across the middle with the helmet eye lenses. Just like that. So with that Corax white applied to all of the eye lenses, what we're then gonna do is take some Bad Moon Yellow. I'm gonna apply this over the top. So with that done, our Salamanders Stern Guard are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And they're looking pretty fab. However, we're not going to leave them there. Of course not. We're going to take them to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. And these are pretty much all going to be generic across all of our Stern Guard. So we're just going to focus on the one just for now. We'll do it on the Sergeant here. And the colour we're going to be using first is Moot Green. And we're going to be using this to highlight all of our armor panels as well as the flag So with all of that moot green applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take the tiniest amounts of phalanx yellow here. And we're gonna apply this to the sharpest, sharpest points on all of the green. So we're just gonna, for example, pick out the sharp edge here, just bring it up the shoulder guard a little bit, like that sort of thing. Going to do the same thing just here. And around here. We're going a little bit of phalanx yellow. around the gorget. Like so. I'm gonna do this across the knuckles. Like that. And we're also gonna add a little tiny bit going down the elbow like so and then taking a little bit of this across the knees like that sort of thing and then on the 
banner. We're also going to add a little bit. Like that. You can pick out however many of these details you like, like this. And then once that's done, we'll come back. In fact, just before we cut, one thing we should do is take a diddy amount of the phalanx yellow and apply this over the eye sockets. Not very much, it's just going to add a little bit more of a glow. Like that. So with that done, our green armor is all finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to all of the black details. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight these first is some thinned down Eshin Gray. So with all that ashen grey applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to add a little bit of a spot highlight to these black details. By adding in slightly smaller highlights over the top. So with that done, all of the black details are now finished. So what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly work on his face. Now, the color we're going to use to highlight this is some thinned down storm vermin fur. And we're just going to use this to pick out the sharpest points. Around his face. With that storm vermin fur applied, we then want to take a teeny little amount of Karak stone. We want to use this to pick out areas such as the tip and the bridge of his nose, just around here on the eyebrow, the underside of the eyelid, and the cheekbones. And along the scars. And with that then done, we're going to take a teeny tiny little amount of an Evil Sun Scarlet. We're going to use this to paint in the eyes. 
just in that classic volcanic eyes look. Just like that. So with that face now complete, we've just got a couple of things left to do. And one of them is of course to take some thinned down iron breaker. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the silver. With all of that iron breaker now applied, we're gonna take some thinned down Liberator Gold. And we use this to highlight all of the gold. With all that gold highlighted, we're then going to take some Rune Lord Brass. I'm going to use this to highlight the Castellax Bronze. And finally, we're going to take some Blood Angels Red. I'm going to apply this over the top of any lenses or jewels that you might have scattered about. This is a LED, red lens right there, but on, for example, this guy's bolt rifle. We've got a tiny little one just here, right in the middle, like that. I don't think we have any on this one. No, we do not. So with their bases complete and some decals added to the shoulders and the banner, our Salamander's Stern Guard are now finished. And I'm really, really pleased with these. They are inspiring me. They are awakening something in me. Oh no, do I now have to do a Salamander's army? I think so. Oh man, they're so cool. I've got lots of ideas and, well... I can't wait to show all of them to you. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.